What are you undertaking? Uh, we've entered, or we've actually been granted a lottery spot to the Cape Epic, which is a eight-day multi-stage mountain bike event run in the Western Cape in South Africa in March of next year. Eight days, uh, eight stages, or roughly 700 kilometres, and a heck of a lot of climbing, around about 15 and a half thousand metres of climbing. If there's one type of event um, that is suited to low carb, it's endurance. We want to prove that there is another way. You don't have to put all these high processed sugars into your body in order to perform at a, at a high level. That's the reason for putting our bodies on the line. Do not attempt this with somebody with whom you don't have a strong relationship. <laughs> because if you don't, it's going to break. The average Australian's having 250 to 300 grams of carbs per day. For an athlete, that can be double or even more. And what is that doing to their system? There are lots of people who say you can't do, you can't survive low carb, high fat, it's not sustainable. And until you actually show, the, well, let me show you what I've done, and you're not saying these are somebody else's results, these, this is what we've accomplished, it works. So I think it's giving credibility and let other people learn from it. So are we going to get to day four and four five and really bonk and hit the wall and feel like we need that sugar hit? We don't know. I have been practicing as a dietitian for 20 odd years. But I've always had a sneaky suspicion that the basic dietary guidelines and pyramid style eating just wasn't quite right. We were talking about this before and I don't think that ever in our history, it's in my history, I've ever started training 32 weeks out. But not like mucking around, like processed and structure and sessions completed and you know, get on the road bike or the mountain bike during the day and then follow up with the training session at night. We know that we have to do the training together and we know that we have to be honest with our nutrition as well. Totally uncharted waters, totally, who knows? I mean, I think our ability to tolerate pain is a good thing because it's gonna hurt, but what it looks like, I don't know. From a personal perspective, my husband and his mate going out to do this, I think it's great. I can't see many uh, 59, 59 or 49. I can't see many 49-year-olds keeping up with this bloke. Like, what, what does your wife, what does your family think? I'm freaking nuts. You're too old to be doing this shit, but that's, that's a label. Age is a label, you know? <laughs>